I have always loved the sounds of a classroom, the quiet that sparks with possibility just before students shuffle in. When I taught English here at Brandywine High School, I would spend my summer preparing for the school year about to start, filled with anticipation. But this quiet is heavy. You can hear the anxiety that echoes down empty hallways. I hear it from so many of you. The frustration of parents juggling work while they support their children's learning or afraid that their kids might get sick from school. The concern of every person working without enough protection. The despair in the lines that stretch out before food banks and the indescribable sorrow that follows every lonely last breath when the ventilators turn off. As a mother and a grandmother, as an American, I am heartbroken by the magnitude of this loss, by the failure to protect our communities, by every precious and irreplaceable life gone. You know, motherhood came to me in a way I never expected. I fell in love with a man and two little boys standing in the wreckage of unthinkable loss. I never imagined at the age of 26, I would be asking myself, how do you make a broken family whole? Still, Joe always told the boys, mommy sent Jill to us and how could I argue with her? And so we figured it out together. We found that love holds a family together. Love makes us flexible and resilient. It allows us to become more than ourselves together. And though it can't protect us from the sorrows of life, it gives us refuge, a home. How do you make a broken family whole? the same way you make a nation whole, with love and understanding, and with small acts of kindness, with bravery, with unwavering faith. It's what so many of you are doing right now for your loved ones, for complete strangers, for your communities. We're coming together and holding on to each other. We're finding mercy and grace in the moments we might have once taken for granted, we have shown that the heart of this nation still beats with kindness and courage. That's the soul of America Joe Biden is fighting for now. Joe's purpose has always driven him forward. His strength of will is unstoppable and his faith is unshakable because it's not in politicians or political parties or even in himself. It's in the providence of God. His faith is in you, in us. Yes, so many classrooms are quiet right now. The playgrounds are still, but if you listen closely, you can hear the sparks of change in the air. Across this country, educators, parents, first responders, Americans of all walks of life are putting their shoulders back, fighting for each other. We haven't given up. We just need leadership worthy of our nation, worthy of you. I know that if we entrust this nation to Joe, he will do for your family what he did for ours. Bring us together and make us whole. Carry us forward in our time of need. Keep the promise of America for all of us. Great job. Hey everyone, I'm Jill Biden's husband. <clears throat> As you heard tonight, <clears throat> excuse me, you can see why she's the love of my life, the rock of our family. She never gives herself much credit, 
But the truth <laughs> is, she's the strongest person I know. She's a backbone like a ramrod. She loves fiercely, cares deeply. Nothing stops her when she sets her mind to getting something right. And you know, for all of you out there across the country, just think of your favorite educator who gave you the confidence to believe in yourself. That's the kind of first lady, 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 this Jill Biden will be. <laughs> God love you. So go to JoeBiden.com to join our campaign. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you soon. Thank you. <laughs>